hello everyone welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new guys in today's video we will be doing my october budget overview so if you're interested please stay tuned okay guys i hope all is well like i stated we are going to be doing my october budget wow guys can you believe we are in the month of october well almost in the month of october i like doing my um, budgets uh, about a week or so in advance. First, I do a draft budget, then another draft budget, then an actual budget, which is what we're going to go over today. And you guys will probably see this on Wednesday, which I think is the 28th. But anyway, I love to prepare a little bit early just so I know what my month looks like. But before we get into that, let's go ahead and read the inspirational quote of the day. And this is a good one, y'all. It states, I've always thought that a big laugh is a really loud noise from the soul saying, ain't that the truth? And that is by Quincy Jones. Guys, that is a really good one because I think that is so true. Okay, guys, let's go ahead and get into this monthly budget. The first thing that I want to do, and I do this in every video, especially for my newbies who haven't seen any of my budget with me videos, I like to show you guys my monthly spread and what it looks like. I love doing monthly spreads because I get to play around with my stickers. Let me make sure you guys can see it. In addition to this, guys, I'd like to also put all of my bills, the dates they are due. I also have my no spins on here or actually where I track my no spins. In addition to that, I have my paydays I'm um, tracked on here as well. And this is where I also note any of my cash transactions that I do throughout the month. I also like to color coordinate my bills, and I will explain that in a minute, but um, my bills that fall between the 1st and the 15th are orange, and then the 15th and the last day of the month are in yellow. Now, what we're going to go ahead and do is move over to the actual budget. Okay, guys, this is my October budget spread. I just need to put my numbers on here and all of my bills to see what we're working with. Now, guys, a couple of things I want to tell you guys about before we go ahead and get into the actual budget for those of you who are new. Now, we are a two income household and the salary that I am going to show you is my and my husband's contributions to our overall bills. We zero base budget, which means the entire salary that I will show you is assigned a task. Now, in addition to this monthly budget, I do a paycheck budget where each paycheck is assigned certain bills to pay. Now, I do these paycheck budgets according to when I get paid, and I only get paid twice a month, which is the 15th and the last day of the month. And we do it according to my paychecks because I am the CFO of this household and it is just much easier to do it this way guys now i also post these paycheck budgets on my community tab so that if you watch my videos and check out my community tab for any given month you will get a good realistic view of how we manage our money on a monthly basis and lastly we do not disclose our giving nor our mortgage information but I will have to disclose our mortgage information this coming Sunday during my Save Day Sunday video because, and guys, I am so excited about this, I will actually start stuffing that envelope within my month ahead envelope and that is the last envelope that I have to stuff within that binder, guys, and I am so amped about that. But Anyway, let's go ahead and get into this budget. Now, I am going to move this to the side a little bit, and I am going to try to zoom it in so that you guys can see it a little bit better. Now, we are working with a salary of, and let me write this down. Let's write salary of $3,370. And guys, thanks to you, I received a YouTube paycheck again, and it was around 240 something dollars. But after um, I gave 20, not 20, but 10 percent, I was left with 222 dollars. And guys, thank you so much for not only supporting my channel, but watching my videos and 
watching the commercials. Um, someone asked me, how do us as YouTubers, you know, get um, paychecks? And it's because of you guys. When you watch through the commercials, that is how we're paid. But again, thank you guys so much. Um, and another thing I wanted to tell you about my YouTube paycheck. I do not count on this money. If I don't get the YouTube paycheck, that is okay. We still have money to pay our bills, okay? So um, just as a FYI, when it comes to the YouTube paycheck, that paycheck, of course, goes, I tithe. I give money to myself. It goes to funding my long-term sinking funds. I fund my YouTube envelope. That's how I'm able to do the giveaways that I do. And I think that's it. It just basically goes to those four things. But again, guys, thank you. Thank you so much for supporting my channel. Now, when I add all of that together... We are working with $3,592. So I'm, I am putting that part in the total income. Now what I'm gonna do really quick guys is move to writing down my bills and how much they are. Okay guys, let's go ahead and add these bills up to see what we come up with. We have the Roth at 250, I accidentally put 125, but 125 is per pay. So 250 plus 51. 54 for the um, water. I have I accidentally have water and electric mixed up. So 82 sales is 95. 288 for the student loan. 75 for the internet. 31 for Peacock and streaming. Eight dollars for Netflix. 22 for eight dollars for Pick Monkey. 22 for Netflix and then 85 for insurance for a total of $1,041. So what you wanna do is take your um, budgeted amount or your income total of 3,592, subtract your bills for the month, and that leaves me with $2,551. And now guys, what I'm gonna do is move on to my cash envelopes. Okay, guys, let's talk about my cash envelopes. Now, um, I will let you know in a minute um, about me paying myself back because I did go a little crazy in the month of September, but um, I did decrease my some of my cash envelopes down a little bit so that I can pay my ba myself back in some areas in which we, we had to get some things done for the house. And I prefer to do it here other than anywhere else because your cash envelopes are variable, which means you can take them up or take them down when you need to. So for groceries, we have $600. Dining out is 160. Spending is 40. Allowance is 20. Beauty is 100. And gas is 120 for a total in my cash envelopes of $140. So let's write that down. $1,040, I'm sorry. And what we're gonna do is take the amount we're left with as far as, as far as our salary is concerned, which is a 2,551, subtract what my cash envelopes came out to, which is 1,040, and that gives me $1,511 to work with. So let me write that down. And now, guys, we are going to move on to my sinking funds. Okay, guys, let's talk about my sinking funds really quick. For my high priority sinking funds, um, we will I will be budgeting $99 this month. For my revolving, it's going to be $370. And for my long term, it's going to be $40 for a total of $509. So let's put that right here. $509. And so guys, what we are going to do is take this 1,511 and subtract 509 from it. So let's see, 1,511 minus 509. And that gives me $1,002 that I still have to work with. So let me write that in here. So next, let's go to savings, guys. We have the dollar a day investment challenge with mommy trader. And since there are 31 days in the month of October, we are going to be putting $31 into this challenge. And in addition to that, I have my um, 
mini savings challenges that I do every week. So we're going to put mini savings and we're going to actually put that at $421. So let's add our savings up. We have $31 plus $421 for our savings challenges. So our savings add up to $452. So let me put that there. $452. And what we are going to do is take the $1,002 that we have left of our salary, subtract the $452 in savings, and that leaves us with $550. And so, next we are at debts. Guys, um, we had a lot going on in the month of September. One of the big things that we had to do was get um, the trees cut in our yard. And that is something I have wanted to get done for a long time. Unfortunately, a lot of the different um, estimates that we got to do it were way too high. Some One person gave 3,500, another person gave 4,000. Well, um, just this gentleman get, came to our door um, about two weeks ago and gave us an estimate of $1,650, which we were elated about, and they were able to trim our trees the same day. We were very, very happy with the work that they did, and you can actually see our house from the street now. So um, anything me and my husband do, we split it up. So of course, I had to take almost $900 out of my um, savings account. In addition to that, I did a lot of other stuff last month, which... Um, totaled about $1,600, guys, so I have to pay myself back. I put it on a credit card, but I took the money out of my savings account to pay myself back because, of course, I don't want that interest. And plus, that's a way of me getting my um, points faster as well. But anyway, I need to pay myself back. I need to put that money back into my savings account. So this $550 that you see here is going to pay myself back. And I'm going to have to do this for the next few months. So that is going to be $550. That totals $550. And when we take $550, subtract $550, that leaves us with $0. So let's go ahead and do this summary real quick, which is the budget summary. Let me make sure you guys can still see it. And you can. Our total income was $3,500. And ninety-two dollars. Our bills totaled one thousand forty-one dollars. Our cash envelopes totaled one thousand forty dollars. Our sinking funds totaled five hundred and nine dollars. And our savings totaled, let's see, four hundred and fifty-two dollars. And then our debts, or pay myself back, totaled five hundred and fifty. So let's do a double check this just to make sure all of this adds up. 3592 minus 1041 minus 1040 minus 509 minus 452 minus 550. And that is a zero base budget, guys. Okay, guys, that is going to do it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please give me a thumbs up, comment below. If you're new to my channel and you like what you see, please make sure you hit that subscribe button to join the family. I would love to have you here. Guys, I will see you on my next video. God bless. Bye, guys.